Tommy V in Michigan. He was on fire this morning. Hey, thank you, Tommy V in Michigan. Th that, yes, sir. If you, if you share my prayers. Mm -hmm. my Tommy V's on. Yeah, we'll jump over there. Tommy V doing great stuff over there. On the record in DNF Associates LLC versus Cora Taylor, 2200270GC. Here's Your Honor, Daniel, Your Honor, Daniel Goldman, 64231 for the plaintiff. And you are Cora Taylor? Yes. Today is a date for a hearing scheduled. Um, on my docket is a motion to set aside a judgment. It's Actually, Ms. Taylor wrote set aside a writ of garnishment um, and the allegations in the uh, motion are never afforded a hearing, never physically served, never made aware of the judgment, never had a day in court to answer this DNF. Ms. Taylor, the case that I have before me shows that summons and complaint were filed in February of 2022. Uh, that they were attempting service on you, and when they couldn't get you personally served, they asked for alternate service, which was granted by one of my fellow judges. That was based on they were trying to serve you at the same address that you're using currently, and that they found that um, your vehicle, vehicle that was registered to you was parked at the address, so they felt they had good evidence that that was your actual address. Then I have a certificate of mailing that this was mailed to your address. I also have a process server who said that he posted it, which usually means they stick it to your door. And then uh, when you did not answer the summons within 21 days of service uh, or 28 days if you received it by mail, a default judgment entered against you on June 7 of 2022. Okay. The default judgment was mailed to you at the same address that you're using. And then the next thing in the file is your motion. Who is DNL? Mr. Goldman, would you like to answer that question? Your Honor, DNF is a um, is a company that purchased the debt, uh, which is allowed in the state of Michigan. It was all set forth in the complaint, uh, and they are the current holder of this debt through assignments. Uh, all of that was uh, set forth in the complaint. I have with the complaint here, if it helps you, Ms. Taylor, uh, they attached some credit card statements from Genesis Credit. So DNF bought the debt from the original uh, Genesis card services, it looks like. So this is a credit card that is alleged that you were using and then didn't finish paying on. And so they defaulted you and then it looks like the debt was then sold. I've never had a credit card from Genesis. Well, I can show you uh, here in the file what the account statement looks like. It has your name, your address on it, and it's like a 2018. And I was in Missouri in 20, my sister, I was ill and I was down there. So my car, my car may have been here, but I wasn't here. So I've never seen a process server, never received any of that. Your uh, credit card says, uh, looks like the statements are dated 2018, but uh, and 2019, the ones they've attached, but I have no idea. Maybe Mr. Goldman has the records that show how far back this credit card goes. Well, Your Honor, I could probably do that, but respectfully, we're not here on a motion to set aside the judgment. We're here on a motion objecting to a garnishment. And what I would look at is, 
is the, I, uh, I might disagree with you, and I'm just trying to make sure that Miss Taylor understands the debt. Mr. Warnsley, will you just show Ms. Taylor this part of the file so that she can see the statement so that maybe it looks familiar, jogs her memory about what we're talking about? You got according to the complaint, paragraph five, the account was opened in August of 2018. The defendant received and accepted money on the credit from the original creditor. Statements were mailed out to her. Copies of statements are attached to the complaint. Uh, she did not pay these statements, uh, the amounts due. Consequently, she was sued properly. Uh, she was served uh, properly. I would indicate if you look at the affidavit of attempts that respectfully, I think she's trying to duck service. I mean, I think it's notable that a, a person that looks like her is described in the affidavit of service as someone who was there and then ran away. Her car's parked there, registered to her. Uh, someone inside of the home on March 20 refused to answer the door. And now you've got a motion filed from the same address as her. Uh, so I think, you know, this has been going on for, for two years. Uh, and to the extent that this is, is a motion to set aside the judgment, I would say she has not complied with the court rules. There's no uh, affidavit of meritorious defense, no, uh, no me uh, basis for excusable neglect. So I think uh, to the extent it's certainly not labeled as such. Uh, so there is no basis to set it aside. Uh, she hasn't followed the court rules to do that. And to the extent this is actually a motion to object to the garnishment, the objection's not well founded under the court rules because the objection is not allowed uh, under the garnishment uh, statutes to uh, challenge the underlying judgment. And that's what we've got here. Your Honor. Are they are they a company that buy buy uh, debts from other companies? Yes. Okay. Is the Genesis? Is that uh, the only thing I can think of? Is that uh, Aspen Dental? It's a credit card. It looks like because I've never had a credit card from Genesis. So the only thing I can think of is that they would be Aspen Aspen Dental. It is. It's Aspen uh, Dental. That looks like go. the charges, ma'am. Okay, Your Honor. Yeah. That's what I thought it was. Okay. And I so never you know. Okay, may I, may I make, say something, sir? And ma'am? Well, you keep saying things anyway, so go right ahead. Okay, I'm sorry. So um, I need a day in court with them. Well, see, that's the whole point, though. So when the time to have requested a day in court. I was court, not in the state of Michigan. I don't know whether you were or you weren't. The affidavit from the process server is suspicious, but they mailed to you a copy. If you were out of the state for a long period of time, you must have had someone checking your mail or had your mail forwarded. And My mail was never forwarded. Well, that's on you, right? You weren't here taking care of your business. You should have had someone handling your business or your mail forwarded to you, right? I had two sisters that, that died in that span of time, and I was in Missouri. Mm -hmm. They both died. So a lot of mail I didn't get. And then the judgment was mailed to you, and you had 21 days after receipt of the judgment to bring up you know, something. And all of these time frames have come and gone. We're a year later. I don't think it's fair what Aspen is doing to me. Why is that? It's because I gave them $1,400. And what they did was they took $600 out of the $1,400. And I asked them why. And they said because they needed the $600 for, for the temporaries, and I told them that I signed a statement saying that I didn't want temporaries. They told me that was their employee's fault because she should have not let me sign that statement. I told them that was their fault, not mine, and I'd see them in court. I never heard from them until I got, they started taking money out of my, my paycheck. Your Honor, the so 14 number she just talked about correlates to the statement amount. So, I mean, that's almost an admission. Admission of what? Well, they took the $600. I asked them for a day in court. I never heard from them until they started taking money out of my paycheck. That's two years later after the complaint was filed and you didn't answer and state garnishment. I never saw anything to answer. Forgive me, I'll address you. Yeah, this judgment is two, almost two years old, just short of two years. So under... 
MCR 2.612 under grounds for relief from judgment, one A, B, and C require that that be done within uh, one year. So we're, we're outside the timeline on those. So that leaves us with D, E, and F. D is the judgment is void. I don't have information that the judgment is void. E is the judgment has been satisfied, released, or discharged. A prior ju um, judgment on which it is based has been reversed or otherwise vacated or is no longer equitable that the judgment should have prospective applications. I don't have that. The last is just the catch-all. Uh, I just want to read the affidavit from the process server for a minute because I wasn't the one who authorized the all service. So what time frame were you in Missouri? Uh, one sister died from it was between 19, uh, 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 2019 and 2021. This uh, process server was at your house in March of 2022. And he said someone was inside the house. It may have been my son. And no, it's a March 21 entry. Pardon? Attempted service as I pulled up a black female, about five foot two, 150 pounds, 60 years old or so was walking into the house. I approached and stated that I had some documents for Cora and asked if she was Cora. Defendant ran into the house and slammed the door. And her car was out front, registered to her. Definitely isn't me. <laughs> so on top of that, the time frame doesn't align with when you were in Missouri. This was mailed to your residence. It was also taped to the door. When the judgment ultimately entered for your failure to respond, this was again, uh, the judgment was mailed to the same address by our clerk. So um, based on that, Ms. Taylor, I regret to inform you that you are not timely with your complaints about this judgment. When you receive a lawsuit, you have to do something. Like That's that. the thing, I never received it. You're telling me that, but I'm telling you that I don't accept that based on the documentation in the file. Documentation in the file shows that you have every reason to ever. So they can it. just take my money and, and nothing can happen. If you have a lawsuit and you don't respond and you get defaulted and then almost two years go by, yes. You got to, we have a proposed order as exhibit five if you receive that. If you put to use. Your response was rejected by the court earlier today, so I received nothing from it. I had a response? No, his. Is. So I don't have your exhibit. Please submit your order to my file. Yes, Your Honor. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry, Ms. Taylor. That's all to you. Okay.